is home to plenty of notable steakhouses, but few can say they've served the likes of Teddy Roosevelt, Albert Einstein, and Babe Ruth. This century-old restaurant is full of fresh beef, but its most famous plate isn't steak. People seek it out instead for a dish of aged lamb called the mutton chop. This is Keene's Steakhouse, and it's been standing here since 1885. I brought my nephew and he had the mutton chop. I said, it's big, you might want to share. He said, no way. And he devoured it. It was outrageous. We're in Midtown today, just a few blocks away from the Empire State Building. And we knew we had to head to Keene Steakhouse for a few reasons. One, they're one of the oldest restaurants in New York. Two, they make these legendary mutton chops, which is this aged cut of lamb. And three, they have 90,000 pipes on the ceiling, but we'll get to that later. So let's go ahead inside and learn a little bit more about this historic chop house. Keene's English Chop House originally spawned from the Lambs Club, a theater group dating back to the 1870s that still exists today. The restaurant became a meeting place for actors, playwrights, and publishers and the go-to spot for a quality mutton chop. Mutton chops used to be a popular meal in American restaurants in the 1800s, inspired by menus at English chop houses in Europe. It's said that American soldiers ate mutton chops often during World War II, but had grown tired of the meat and its musky flavor upon returning to the US. So mutton fell out of favor, but Keens continued serving it, and built a reputation as one of the only places to make the plate and do it well. In 1935, the Chop House had served its one millionth mutton chop. Why do you think the mutton chop in particular, though, became so synonymous with this restaurant? Well, I think that people also like to try something that's unique and that it's become a signature dish here because you don't see it on every menu. And so when they come, they try it, you know, and, and say, OK, that's great. And I, I can't even believe the size of it when, they, when it's put in front of them. Each mutton chop is made up of a sheep's loins, tenderloins, and belly flap, and weighs about a pound and a half. It's just seasoned with salt and popped into the broiler for each side to brown, allowing the natural sugars in the meat to caramelize. And about how many orders of these mutton chops do you guys do in a day or a week? Uh, in a day, maybe 70, 80. Uh, in a week, hundreds and hundreds. Chef Billy Rogers says customers who enjoy lamb will likely enjoy mutton too. Would you describe this as a gamier meat or a gamier flavor? It's, it, you know, if you like lamb, you're going to love this. It is a uh, cross-cut saddle of mature lamb or sheep. It's about uh, a year plus uh, in, in age. That's what, that's what makes it mutton as opposed to lamb. Mm. If you've never had lamb particularly, or mutton before especially, this is a fattier piece of meat. It's very easy to cut into, it's very easy to bite into, it's just very soft. It does not need salt, it does not need pepper. This is so juicy in itself, so flavorful on its own. And of course, you can also get steak. The sirloin is another popular order at Keen's. But quality red meat isn't the only reason the steakhouse is considered an institution. The restaurant is host to one of the largest collections of clay pipes in the world. Back in the 17th century, it was an English tradition to check one's pipe before sitting down for a meal. And once finished, patrons would call for a pipe warden to return their pipes. Who are some of those early famous faces that have had pipes here? Well, I guess the earliest, Babe Ruth, um, Teddy Roosevelt, uh, Will Rogers, it, it goes on and on. The Steakhouse's list of loyal customers has grown considerably since Babe Ruth visited. It's, it's legendary. It's, it's one of the oldest establishments in Manhattan. So, uh, you know, so there's that history and you feel it when you come in. Stop in on a normal day and you'll find tourists and longtime regulars alike. This, this is this my is table. A, this is a go to. <laughs> table, go table 87. Table I come here and I say, I want my table. How did you first hear about Keynes or why did you start coming? No, it's just it's a it's, it's a New York institution. Yeah. You know, you, you look around the history, like the pipes, the, the photos. It's it's, a, it's the place to be. People come from around the world, emails from around the world about how they'll be coming, where they're coming from. 
So really to be a destination for those people is a special thing which we really try and live up to their expectations. If you see everything, all of the photographs on the walls, you could just go back in time and realize that where you're sitting, where you're dining, where you're having a beautiful glass of wine is where so many decades of so many people have had the pleasure of enjoying it.